Hello, League members. This is Space Friary 248 and Alex here. I am here to uh, talk about. I didn't really want to make this video, but since people kept uh, bugging me about uh, leagues, I just decided to make it. <sighs> Hold on one second. I'll remind you what happened to those who wonder what made me quit leagues. A long time ago in uh, Extreme M's Grand Am League, uh, I was re there was recently a argument, well not recently, but a few days ago before this race, w which was my last non-Vortex Cup race, um, there was a gigantic argument but in, with the uh, APSRL members about bullying, like false invites, then kicking them out, like after that happened then all of a sudden the Fuji race uh well before the Fuji race at, with Grand Dam uh everything was fine and when uh someone well I'm not gonna mention any names but SB1 well that that's not really a name for anybody but I'm just gonna make up names so SB1 said she was putting on her driving line in GT5, and I th didn't think I would have a problem with it, uh, thinking that uh, she'll just uh, get used to the pace of the track, and and I know I'm used to mine, then, well, we had a, a bunch of arguments during that race, and then there was a lot of hypocrisy burning, well, not, not just with her, but basically almost the entire lobby. So, basically, uh, everything was making me blow the last fuse in my head, so I just quit. Because I just realized it was just annoying as hell. A lot of things were annoying me with League, so I just badly wanted to quit. And a long time ago, in 2011, I was having fun with these two following friends, uh, Derek Angle, a.k.a. Tebow Manning, and Peter Pellucci, a.k.a. Nasser Addict 24. We were all having fun on Gran Turismo 5, along with Navak, and, and many others, so, uh, uh, Nasser Addict 24 decided one day that he wanted to do a league, and at first I, uh, didn't said I don't really usually join leagues, and he said he was alright with it, then uh, Navak con convinced me into joining, so I decided to join. And I thought it wouldn't be that bad of an idea at first. At first, the league was a mess, and then all of a sudden it restarted with, uh, one, with just one person being kicked out and a few others not bothering to join, unfortunately, but it's fine. So that's how it all started with the leagues for me. Alright. For like the past two, for over a year now, I have quit leagues. February 13th, 2013 is the date I quit all leagues except for Vortex. And some people keep making a fuss about me not joining leagues because I can't stand how much the drama and how much of a waste of time and how much I don't believe it's fun racing, so I'm going to give you all top five reasons why I quit leagues. Number five, the drama. Yes. So basically we, uh, obviously as I mentioned earlier, um, when I first uh, was doing racing online on PSN with NASCAR 09, NASCAR of the Game 2011, Grand Turismo 5, uh, F1, and many other awesome racing games, and then it was all about fun, and people wouldn't normally just get deleted because they kept wrecking them on purpose and annoying them and saying, like, a little bit too far offensive things, so, uh, yeah. But with leagues, when somebody usually wrecks another by accident, they act like it's on purpose. Then they, when they're doing fun races, they just say, Oh, please don't invite him. Please don't invite him. I had enough of him because he wrecked me recently. Oh. 
And I'm sorry, guys, if I'm bringing up old shit. It's just that I had to get this off my chest. And it's been happening recently with other leagues, so I have to do... Make this video, so... And yeah, I may have some fights with some of my personal friends and relatives, but the thing is, they don't beg for me not to go anywhere, because they, because I usually apologize after I do something, or they apologize after they do something wrong, because, you know. <laughs> Our action, most of the actions, wrong actions we do is forgivable, but... People don't really forgive when you accidentally wreck another in a league. And then all of a sudden, uh... When someone is just trolling for the lol, someone, a certain somebody, would take it too seriously and have their feelings hurt. And apparently, I've known a couple of people that said that they were going to commit suicide because uh, the leagues were... Because he took those leagues too seriously, which I think is bit too far. Well, I'm not going to say who they were, but there were there were a few people that did that. That Well, they didn't commit suicide, but said they were, but don't end up doing it. There's a lot of people that say that, but don't end up doing it. And basically what causes this drama is wrecking another people, either on purpose or an accident. Um, accidentally not listening or getting the message of the rules by mistake. And then people make a big fuss about it and cr cry when they obviously don't know I have a learning disability, which has slow processing. Because I always sometimes have slow processing with myself. Because uh, all it is when... Before we were having fun, we would always forgive each other when we accidentally wreck each other. But now with leagues, it's always hating on another person. It's just annoying as hell. I mean, going to NASCAR races and Disney World, Manhattan, um, in a way, um, let's see, what else? Uh, Los Angeles, Oregon, baseball games, basketball games. It's more fun than leagues. Uh, absolutely is what I'm going to mention earlier. I'm done talking about uh, drama because it's uh, kind of making me a little bit depressed. Number four. My unnecessary yelling at my parents. Yes. Yes, indeed. Every time when it's a league, it's very important you have to go into to race hard for the championship, which is also an honorary mention. I have to... When I was in, like, five leagues, I had to focus on, like, all five of them at once and try to win the championship, which was kind of making me stress. As I mentioned this earlier, because when so much stress is on me, I just kept saying, can you be a little quieter to my parents, because I need to focus on so many stuff. I just got a message from my mom, speaking of that. Alright, because, you know... Some there was also some people that got yelled at for going to the going somewhere like not making the race because their parents need them for something or want for a special night or something or whatever. So there were also a few times where I blew up some uh, I don't know hangouts with other friends and family and relatives because of leaks. I. I already did enough of a number of... Oh, hold on. There was also a friend of mine named Derek Engel, which always has a bit of an argument with his parents. Because some of the league races was during his dinner time, and he, could, and he uh, kept giving a bit of an argument with his parents because there was a league race in the middle of his dinner time, which also... Uh, a reason why he can't stand leagues as well. And sorry, Derek, if I mentioned that in this video, and sorry if I embarrass you, but I just have to... Alright. Number three. Waste of time. Yep, waste of time. As I mentioned earlier, when you're in so many fucking leagues, it takes up your time. Yeah. 
and people make a still make a big deal about it and go like, oh, Alex, is, oh, I quit leads because I it's a waste of time. It is. For seriously, do I really need to be in that many leagues, guys? When I tell you I don't do leagues, stop asking over and over. Because really, there's better stuff to do out there, like NASCAR races I mentioned earlier, Disney World, Los Angeles, uh, Oregon, even your homework. Yes, even your homework is more productive than that, than leagues. Hell, even concerts, country traveling, well, I haven't never been to another continent, but it's more fun. Because, as you all can see, in 1997 to 2007, I went on a lot of, a lot of trips. Why? Leagues never exist. The less leagues you have, the more fun tripping you'll have. As in going to NASCAR races in Los Angeles, Oregon, as I mentioned a bunch of times. But, unfortunately, in 2008 and 2009, um, there was a big slump in our family because we didn't have a lot of money and my parents had bad jobs. So, fortunately in 2000, like 10, 11, or in 2010, they had better jobs, so my life was a lot easier than ever since, like, 2011, I went on the most NASCAR races I've been since, like, 2007, which was three. Usually around, uh, three or four to eight to ten races, I usually go every year. And for 2011, I went to a total of, uh, five races, because there was no... Because we had had a lot of money to to go to them, and and there was no leaks. But in 2012, where I was getting in all, involved all these leaks, the leaks put too much stress into my brain. I just couldn't think of as that much because the only races I went to is New Hampshire and Richmond. Oh yeah, speaking of Richmond, in a in a Corvette league, uh, a friend of mine. Derek King was uh, penalized because he wanted to watch the Federated Auto Parts 400, which was kind of uncalled for, since the reason he was penalized is because it was nothing to do than stare at your screen for, for hours when video games is the same thing. Well, it's focusing, but still, come on. That race was an important event, and I don't, I also don't regret going there because Jeff Gordon made it into the chase by three points. Like I said, I'm glad I missed any bad races due to a NASCAR race or awesome trip. So, in 2013, by the way, which is the year I quit leagues, I went to four NASCAR races. Four NASCAR Sprint Cup races. Dover, New Hampshire, Bristol, and Homestead, Miami, which is the day I... My dream came true of seeing Jimmy Johnson win his sixth championship. I always wanted to see him win his sixth championship in person, by the way, because which is more worthy than leagues, obviously. Alright. Oh yeah, remember Derek, remember this quote? Leagues take up too much of my time. Yeah. We're not in many leagues because we have lives. We have a life. That is true, Derek. If you... Still remember it? Good job. Number four, two. False sayings that it will be fun. There was one, there was this uh, guy a long time ago, and he, well, I'm not going to say his name, but let's just say the number's uh, 7 8. 7 8, um, uh, no offense to him, he. I like him as a person, but he's been a failure at making leagues, as if, uh, also that's an honorary mention when, uh, no, not an honorary mention, but also not to mention when your leagues are failures, it wastes my time, because he's tried like ten times to make a league and they didn't succeed at all, and he also says that he's not going to make any more leagues, but then yet he starts doing them again. Which is kind of confusing. And as for uh, Extreme M's, uh, I Rock and Grand Am leagues, um, for Grand Am, 
it was almost not fun at all. All it is was bitching and moaning and when someone was accidentally wrecked, he has a rage fit and decides to wreck everyone because he kept getting accidentally wrecked when it was not on purpose and or when he accidentally wrecked himself because he even tries to wreck people running for the championship. <coughs> See, I am I am even getting kind of sick over these leaks. <coughs> so yeah, people say it will be fun, but I don't trust them. And people, and someone said, "Oh, Alex, you were just overreacting. You were overreacting, Alex. Come back to leaks. You have no reason to quit." these leagues. You're overreacting. I wasn't overreacting, you dumbass. Every single fucking league race, it was bad. Am I crazy? You think I'm crazy? No, I'm not crazy. Can you name at least one race in APS Rail besides challengers, challenger races or Grand Am races that was fun? Like I said, I used to be, I mean, I used to be extremely into this championship running and league racing, but come on, tell me at least one race outside of Challengers and IROC that was fun. Well, a lot of, there were a lot of bullshit IROC races, but still, it was annoying as hell. Alright, let's see how many minutes left. 16 minutes. We're already 16 minutes in the video. <sighs> Alright. Number one. The obvious reason. Big obvious reason. All the previous four things I mentioned gets formed into another, into another, into another, and up to this. Drama gets formed, well, well, carries a bad mood into me that I have to, I don't know, boss my parents around because I'm busy doing a league, because I'm doing something that's pointless. Oh yeah, by the way, speaking of leagues being pointless, why be mad at someone else when you're, I don't know, why act like it's the end of the world when you're screwed? Why even defriend someone when you don't win a championship against them because all you do is just win fake money in a fake trophy. You don't get no reward. I mean, maybe Knacks they do it, but I don't know about any other leagues besides that league. I'm not in that league, but still. And then the unnecessary yelping at my parents turns into waste of time because I have to blow off any, uh, family, uh, hang hangouts with, uh, when they're going to, like, a friend or relative's house, because I have to do a league. Well, I didn't always blow it off, but sometimes I did, and it really annoyed me, and the wait, and, it, and the waste of time turns into a false saying that leaks will be fun, when yet it's a failure, and when leaks fail, it wasted your time, and it formed into messy-ass racing, unreasonable hatred, and favoritism. And yes, I know a lot of leagues that put favoritism on someone. And also hypocrisy. There were a lot of messy ass re racing in 78's league, which also I might have mentioned him without saying his name a while ago, because maybe people are leaving... People, he was complaining why had so many people were leaving his race because it was either too long as fuck or it was just too messy. <coughs> um, an unreasonable hatred. Pretend I'm a league owner. Oh, I don't like what this guy did. I want him penalized up the ass. Oh, I don't like this guy is driving. No matter how much he improves, let's just keep making fun of him over and over for a year, even if he highly improves his swerving or driving. Oh, I love this guy. Let's never penalize him. 
Even if he almost wrecks someone, let's never penalize him. Seriously. And people say... And people... When people make fun of me over uh, swerving, which is an issue I had a long time ago, in 2012, but... No matter how much I improve, they go like, swerving, and then when... And every time when some... I get mad about someone joking about me, they quote-unquote joking about me, they go like, Alex, this is just a joke, or Gov, it's just a joke. Uh, come on, man. You people say, oh, it's just the internet. Oh, yeah, there was some kid named uh, Bla uh, Rocky812 Day that made fun of 9-11 attacks and Boston bombings and Jason Leffler dying and some autistic kid getting assaulted by two teenage girls to, to be forced to do a sexual act with an animal and then he says this let me show you these pictures Familiar? Yeah. Busted. And let me mention the hypocrisy. Hmm, let me think. People say, I say stuff over and over, and I say that I'm a hypocrite for uh, saying I want st st something to stop, but I tell a joke for at least two weeks, and then yet, they're the ones saying, the swerving joke, not quote unquote joke, nonstop for over a fucking year. Really? And that, and yet they use the pissing on apples thing, which is a, a joke I use for five days, over and over and over and over and over. They said they get tired of me using the Wally Dombak thing for. Two weeks in December, but yet they use those stupid jokes I made up or accidentally made up years ago. <laughs> that is huge hypocrisy. And Rocky812 Day trolls people about 9-11 uh, and the Boston bombings, Jason Leffler, the Connecticut disaster with the... Sandy Hook Elementary School, yet he bitches when he uh, wreck gets wrecked by other people, which is another point out to hypocrisy. Oh yeah, and someone else, uh, I'll say, I won't say his name, but I'll say something close. N88. <clears throat> he says this Wally Dombach thing was said over a month in uh, February, but yet it was only two weeks, and when he, when, uh, SB1 said he, she was tired of this Wally Dombeck thing when it was yet only set for two weeks. They, uh, N88 and NASCAR Addict 24 were obsessed with this I'm Batman quote. And this is N88's excuse. Well, it was, that's because it's funny. And then, just, uh, come on, man. It doesn't matter if it's funny. That's called an opinion, not a fact. I mean, aren't you fucking clever? <laughs> you people. And then some of them sit after that huge argument in, like, February, after uh, Tebow Manning's birthday. They said they would stop making fun of people, yet they made fun of my accidental mistake saying this. Michael made me lost control. And then... Yeah, I corrected myself, and there was someone in there, in that lobby, that wasn't even supposed to be here. Why are you here, sir? Just shut up and get out of here. And then, after I was having that bad race, uh, N78 tried to cheer me up by a fun race when I was too pissed about to do a fun race, and... Ugh. Oh yeah, they, those people said I'm overreacting. If you people still think I'm overreacting, go ahead. 
be mine twisted forever because don't forget that you had your leagues shut down into in July 2013 and some you people said you were wrong about me which is true everything I said about leagues being a waste of time is true it's the truth And when I accidentally wreck somebody, they always act like it's on purpose. And me uh, cracking that joke wasn't meant to bully her. It was just a, just a little joke when I when she smashed into me multiple times. And her, yeah, her color was green, so I decided to call her to mix up her name with Danica Patrick. So, so she got mad. So uh, I'm sorry if you didn't think that was funny a while, a while ago. I just decided... Make that joke only once and not say it multiple times and be extremely unoriginal about it. I mean, some of my jokes may last for two weeks, but do they last for a year like some of yours? No. Just no. Because the perfect examples are like this swerving and this pissing on apples thing. That's not funny at all. When you say it billions of times and say stuff like, Michael made me lost control, or I make fun of a other grammar fan of yours that I made by mistake. It's not funny when you say it 16 billion times. Not to mention that someone pointed out my spunning out and winning the champion jug when my dad pointed out the Y-O-U-R and Y-O-U apostrophe R-E mistake. And then yet, I get be the one <laughs> deleted when it wasn't even my fault he pointed that out. Besides, when you... Hold on, sorry. When you... When I see a grammar failure of yours, I'm going to point it out. It doesn't matter. Hold on. The spunning out and winning the champion joke, those were two years ago. I didn't say it now. I said it two years ago. And some of you people made those recent mistakes this year recently. My grammar mistakes don't matter anymore because at least I... <laughs> at least I know the proper grammar after making a mistake. Well, the smutting out thing it was a mistake, but still. It was just a mistake and I corrected myself, so... Saying it over a billion times is not funny. And hell, someone else, and two, two other people even said it was getting old as well. One thing I like to point out that the only reason I stayed in Vortex is to have a little bit of competition. And people say, well, Alex, come on. Or, Gov, come on. There's Nags. Why didn't you do that when you quit leagues? Well, here's the thing, you guys. I would have... I would have joined it myself, but I, but no, I, I, I would, hold on, I chose a league that I was already in in the first place, so I thought an axe was already filled up, so, yeah, I, an axe has been quite on my mind for some time, but, but apparently, um, in some cases, I might not join it because of it's always about one person bashing on one per person. Like every uh, league member in there bashing on one person. It's all like always about that, from what I heard. Even though it's fun, from what I hear, and I might not do next because it's on some days that I don't want to do it. But if, but I also heard it's on Mondays, which. I could be totally fine with, but uh, I don't know about Saturdays. So, I just don't know what to do right now with uh, leagues, considering I'm in Vortex and my PS3 is fried out. So, yeah. Another thing I would like to point out is uh, <sighs> false sayings that leagues are fun is that People say they like the Corvette League and the APSRL, but yet they continuing not to show up. Well, I know I might have said that um, people are skipping 
a, a certain race because they want to watch the Federated All Parts 400 in 2012. And I know it was a long time ago, but I'm just explaining a few elements and reasons why I quit League. So, people say they like Corvettes, yet they don't show them most of the time, and then they just act like they don't care. Another thing is about to, about me uh, quoting somebody, as I quoted somebody calling me a retard for just simply cracking one joke, and one joke only, about her driving like Danica, because she smashed into me multiple times, so I just uh, decided to crack a little joke, and then you got pissed off and butthurt. Well, I'm sorry if I'm bashing you for, uh, well, something that happened a year ago, but then again, some of you people talk about the past all the fucking time, so I have to point out some bullshit. So, yeah. I hate it when people make fun of me about the same thing over and over and over and try to act funny, when yet they're not funny at all. I don't hate it. I never said I hated it when people made fun of me. I just didn't like it when they did the same thing over and over and over and over again. I mean, I crack one little joke to Derek once in a while, but it's not the same thing over and over and over and over again. And he does to me, too. And most of my personal friends crack one joke to me, too, to tease me, but... I don't, <laughs> I don't take it serious and nor offensive since they don't do it over a billion thousand times and can't come up with anything new. The thing is, it's okay. Oh yeah, and about the, uh, hold on one second. Here you go, Titan. When I said that, uh, the other... Uh, that N88 said that, well, at least the Batman quote is funny. And then I said it wasn't, it was a fact and not an, it was, not, <laughs> it was an opinion, not a fact. I was, I was, uh, I forgot to say that not everyone thinks the um, Batman quote is funny. And besides, not to mention it went on for two months ever since the end of November 2012 and the Wally Dombach thing started the second week of December. <sighs> I only cr I joked about the Wally Dawn back four tires, no tires, two tires things about like, what, two races and people are just that butthurt that I that they were just that butthurt that I mentioned that joke multiple times? Come on. <laughs> Seriously. Is two weeks like two decades to you guys? <laughs> Seriously, you act like I do it over and over and over again for that long when it was just only for two weeks. And you say stuff like, oh, it's over a month. You should look at your Batman, um, Batman quote. It went on from no the end of November to the beginning of February. Oh, wait, my bad. That was actually two months. Not one month. Two months. <laughs> So fucking pathetic. No, yeah, and I don't care if people make fun of me for being a brony, but if they say stupid stuff like I'm a pedophile for liking a show that's quote unquote for little kids when I mostly believe it's for everybody, that's a little too far. But I kind of laugh a little bit when people. <laughs> Make fun of me for being a brownie, but over and over and over again with the same ass joke and not coming up with anything new, it's annoying. Oh yeah, let me show you the pictures for the people that <laughs> that complain about me being a brownie. One, two, three. and also bullshit. Usually when you accidentally wreck someone, they never forgive you and they 
don't want to race with you. And But when it's with fun races, when you accidentally do that in fun races, it's different. I can't stand leagues. Get over it, people. I am not joining your leagues. Just no. Just no. The only league I found somewhat fun, or two leagues I found somewhat fun, were just the IROC, Extreme M's, IROC League, and the Challenger League in the APSRL. But then as all of a sudden, as soon as it was approaching the chase, it died off except for the last race. And then every time when I accidentally screw someone, it was obviously lag, which is a perfect example at the spa race in, in the Challenger series, but I don't think I have proof that of that incident, unfortunately, because I was probably too pissed to record it. <sighs> because, oh yeah, there were some people that took this league races too far. Some league owner said that they would find, they were so pissed that they would find Hitman and kill us all, which, kind of a bit too far. Yeah. And people whine and say, Oh my god, God, you made fun of me. You hate it when people make fun of you, so don't make fun of me, you retard. I don't care if people make fun of me, but when you do it over and 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 over again, it's annoying. That's why I say I hate it. Because people never come up with anything new to make fun of me. I mean, at least with the brony stuff. I mean, many bronies are used to that stuff. But at least that making fun of me because I'm, I'm a brony is new. But still, shut up about the swerving, for God's sake. Since shut up about my... Shut up about the... Mako made me lost control or any other grammar failures. Well, I get the spunning out and winning the champion is funny, but saying it over and over and over nonstop, it's not funny anymore. It's really not. It's making it even worse when I correct when I corrected someone with the your and your. They, they point out that those grammar failures when they were years ago. That was years ago. Get over it. That was back then, this is now. And that wasn't even my dad, that wasn't even me that corrected them, it was my dad. And yet I, I get deleted when it was my dad pointing out that bullshit. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> it's so pathetic. <sighs> oh my god. And another thing, where, hold on, should, should I be thinking about mm, any other hypocrisy? I just, every time I hear a bullshit story in League, I just feel sickened in the stomach and just hate Leagues even more than I usually do now. When Leagues are gone offline, unless if it's fun like Nax or a few others, our friendship with the my with these people would be fine. It would be perfectly fine, like fun races. <sighs> and people said, and every time I have logical reasonings to uh, prove my point why I quit leagues, people say, "Oh, it doesn't make sense." You're only saying that because you want me back. <sighs> That's it. I'm not going back to anything that puts me in a bad mood because it annoys the hell out of me so yeah that's it number five the drama four the unnecessary yelling at my parents when I'm trying to focus three it's a waste of time two the false saying it will be fun but then yet a failure number one all the th four things get put into a one thing that'll piss everyone off and be put in a bad mood and <sighs> Give them an attitude of hypocrisy, favoritism, and unreasonable hatred. That's how bad the leagues are and races are. 
Yeah. And eventually the APSRL got closed. Which I will show you this photo. APSRL was almost never fun. And the Grand Am League, sadly, was... And Michael's League, no offense to you, Michael, but... Your leagues were starting to die off. Especially with Grand Am. IROC was pretty fun, but then it... Then your league started to die in Grand Am. Conclusions. Leagues are a waste of time. There's nothing but bitching and yelling, or in unforgiveness and stupid attitudes and hypocrisy, and also nonsense, and also bullshit. You're just being used as products to get random business going that doesn't even reward you with anything. You get phantom trophies, phantom money. That's it. You don't get anything. They're all fake. Fake, fake, fake. Which is another reason why I quit leagues. NASCAR races, Disney World, Los Angeles, Oregon, Maine, many other places are more fun than sitting on your ass playing leagues that are extremely pointless and not fun. Talk to you guys later. Talk to you guys later. Stay tuned. Peace out.